Dean's question for today's Bloodhound workshop is about nesting. So he would like to compare the linear regression to the 20 EMA of the linear regression here. All right, so let's uh, let's get my chart set up and we'll get this done here. All right, so I just have a, a uh, Russell chart here in one minute and let's get the indicators up. All right, so we're, we want to look at the um, linear regression and Dean would like an 80 period on that. Let's make this a little easier to see and we'll make it kind of a reddish color here and then the next indicator is going to be the EMA 20 and let's see I'll make um, actually I'll just make it uh, dashed there we go all right so it's going to be the EMA 20 but of the linear regression so we're going to change the input series here let's go to our indicators all right, there's a linear regression, and we wanted an 80 period. All right, and let's put that on the chart. All right, so the linear regression is the solid, and the 20 uh, EMA of the linear regression, that's the dashed line here. So Dean's question is essentially, you know, is how do you get this EMA 20 of the linear regression in Bloodhound here. And then um, we're just gonna do, let's see here, a simple comparison of the two, I believe. Um, yeah, we're just looking to see when the linear regression is greater than its EMA 20. So that'll be a, yeah, a simple comparison solver, comparing the two. All right, so let's get Bloodhound open. And oh, look at that. I haven't even updated my Bloodhound, so, but that's okay. We'll just do that next time. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, put a file name in there. So, all right, let's get the date. All right, so 2019, here we are. So happy New Year's again, everybody. All right, so uh, there's today's date save that all right so i'm going to start working on the logic tab here we'll just open this up a little bit more and let's make a new uh, logic template all right so all right so let's grab a comparison solver connect that in that's it. that's the only solver we're going to have so i'll just stick it in the middle there and let's give a name to this. All right, so the linear regression 80 compared to the um, EMA 20 of the linear regression. Okay, some kind of name like that. All right, typically what you wanna do is put the faster moving average um, in input A. Uh, that's most, that's typical of how people compare moving averages to each other is typically they, they're more interested in the faster one, whether the faster one is above the slower one, right? So the just the linear regression itself is going to be the faster one and the, the EMA of it is going to be the slower one. So in input A, that's going to be our linear re regression. So let's go find that on the list. There it is. Add that down here and change the period to 80. All right, click OK, and now input B. That's going to be our nested, uh, our nested indicators here. So that's going to be the EMA of the linear regression. So let's open up the list, and just like how we did on the chart, we're going to find the EMA first. Let's grab the EMA first, add it down here, change the period. Right now, so now with the EMA selected. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find the linear regression. So this is gonna be our nested indicator. Just click on it once, one click, a single click, and then hit nested input button, All right? Just like that. So just keep in mind, you only want a single click. Obviously, if you double click, it'll replace the EMA. 
So just make sure it's a single click so that it's highlighted, right? All you want to do is click to highlight the indicator and then you can hit the nested uh, input button here. But also you must have an indicator down below selected or highlighted as well, right? Right now you can see the nested input button is disabled. So if I go and if I highlight just a single click on the linear regression indicator, now the nested input button is available. So now I can just go and single click to highlight another indicator and then I can hit the nested input button and then I can nest the momentum into the linear regression into the EMA, right? So, so first off, you have to have the indicator selected uh, down below, just you know, single click to highlight it and then a single click on whatever indicator you want to use and then you can hit the nested button. All right, so let's get rid of that one and let's finish setting everything up, right? So our EMA, we have the 20 period in there. Now the linear regression, we need to change that to the 80 period that we want and put that in like so. And bingo, there we go. All right, so when the linear regression is above the EMA 20 of the linear regression, there you go, long output, short output. So there is your filter, Dean. Thank you.